Welcome to Today I Work On. Today we work on plumbing. Before we work on the plumbing, we're gonna set these superior wall bases properly. The one, the one superior wall, it's a three by three by 12 inch base and it holds like 20, 30,000 pounds. And there's not enough gravel underneath them and I wanna fix that. So I'm gonna work on that. And then after that, I'm gonna start working on the waistlines. So I bought a bunch of plumbing yesterday, a bunch of three inch PVC pipe. And we're gonna start roughing in the plumbing underneath the slab in the concrete. We could get some concrete going here. Uh, so that's the first step. It's a potpourri video today. I'll go over the superior walls a little bit. We'll start plumbing. It's gonna be like a combo thing. Working on this pad, I want to show you something. If you look, there's, I actually moved this three by three back a little bit because there was nothing underneath this pad. That's how, I guess the superior walls was rushing a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some ones and I'm gonna add the ones underneath this pad so we have stability. These pads hold over 20,000 pounds. And last night I'm reading the book, I'm like, I'm gonna show you two inches of one brings you from like 20,000 to 24,000 pounds of weight that these pads could hold. These pads hold 20,000 pounds, but if there's, if they're kind of tippy, then what? Well, then we're gonna have some movement. I don't want that. So we got some ones right here and we're gonna fill this in. You see the water, that's a super low spot and there's no one gravel in there. That's, so water, water always finds level. All right, now we're gonna rake it out a little bit and we should be good. Look at the big difference. Now we have a ton of number one stone underneath there and it'll compact nice, we'll, uh, I'll run the tractor over it a couple times. So make sure when Superior Walls puts it, your pads in, make sure it's not tilty or anything, because you can have a little bit of a settlement if, issue. Basically got all the foundation pads set up, basically. We have to dig more for the plumbing. So now we're gonna start working on the plumbing. That is outlet number one. And then I'm just prepping to see where we gotta dig. Over here is gonna be a bathroom for the future. And then right there in that corner is going to be, it's going to go up, catch a couple of bathrooms and a few other things like the kitchen and the laundry room. And I think that's about it. And then going all the way back over here, we have the master bathroom. That's basically it. This four inch pipe has to go out that way because uh, that's going to be the stub out for the septic system. We're figuring it out. It looks pretty good. And we should have this prepped and ready to dig in a little bit. Pipe is done. We got our eighth to a quarter inch pitch. It's not looking good. Off to lunch. We got some plumbing done today. We're gonna to be done with this probably tomorrow with the roughing, which is actually really good. Over there, we got the girls' bathroom. So that's one three inch PVC pipe with the clean out coming through. So let's take a walk this way. Right over there, that's gonna be another pipe that's for a toilet, I think for my boys' bathroom. Also, there's a stairwell hill, so I'm not exactly where it is, and my sketch, I can't really see it. Right here is a Y going to another toilet. You have, I have a half toilet here, and that's probably gonna take the kitchen and the laundry room. So kitchen, laundry room, half bathroom right there. The next one we're gonna do is, is gonna be for the bathroom that's gonna be later in the future, because I'm gonna be broke. And then we just got a straight shot down to the master bathroom. And this code is IPC 2019 code. So that's what we're gonna go with. Everything needs to be vented, but you can use a wet vent. Plumbing is subjective. If you're in New York City or Philly or out here, Northeast PA or Virginia, everyone has a different code. This is fortunately IPC. So that means everything doesn't need an individual vent. That needs to be dry vent. I can have some wet vents in this. So that's a lot easier to do and 
my plan was actually a little overkill, but I talked to my master plumber buddy and we simplified it a little bit. So that's what we're doing here. Everyone roast me. Go, go right ahead. That's fine. The pipe all the way at the end to here, it's quite a bit of a pitch. So I'm trying to get around a quarter inch of a pitch. Some places it is an eighth of an inch. Like we hit a rock over here and it's an eighth of an inch, but that's fine. Um, it's looking really good. Hopefully we don't hit any crazy rocks going down. So we got probably another 40 feet to go basically, and we should be able to wrap this up tomorrow. So that's it for the plumbing part of part one of this. Maybe we'll finish the rough in tomorrow and that'll be it. So uh, we'll catch you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's another day. It's another day of plumbing. We're gonna finish this up today. This next piece right here is gonna be for the bathroom later for use. I'm having a tough time trying to figure out where I want to how I'm gonna dig this out. Cause I can't get the mini excavator in here. So I might have to close this up temporarily and then maybe just leave this joint exposed and then run the, uh, the mini excavator over here. But the rest is just a home run straight through. We're gonna go up, put a, put a Y and it's gonna be pretty boring. So I'll turn on the time lapse and I uh, enjoy the show. Daylight. We're bringing the waste pipe out to the septic area, quote unquote. So I'm going to dig it out from here and it should be home free from here on out. So let's just keep on working. There's our line where I think it's close. I think we'll get a uh, pipe in there and see what the pitch is. But this is the superior wall when you're digging concrete. I went right in the middle of this wall. It's probably like two and a half feet. You could go five feet disturbing the wall without it really doing anything. So we're going to refill this in. But that's, that's how it works. It's really weird when it's a superior wall. Like I was told you don't want to touch closer than 12 inches off the foundation. So that's the, uh, that's what it is. So we'll, we'll dig this out a little bit more. We'll set some pipe up and uh, we should be done soon. We are about two feet from the concrete slab from nothing. So that's kind of crazy. So now we're, uh, this is the last Y right here. We'll connect this coupling and we're almost, almost done. That's it. 99% done. We got one little extra piece to do, but we're looking good. Let's recap uh, today. We got the pipe out to the septic. So we went from three inch to four inch. Can you see that? Okay. That's our waistline and clean out for the master bathroom. And we just ran this. Look at this straight pipe right here. We got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, like 80 feet of pipe just going this way. A lot of pipe. We got a few pipes left over. So did we go over to the bathroom over here? Well, let's go over to the bathroom. Look at this handiwork over here. So right here, we got a Y. This goes to, like I said, the half bath and the laundry room. Over here, do you see that? This pipe's gonna go to the tub. I'm gonna put a box here so they don't concrete it so I can put a P-trap in there. This line goes to the toilet, which is gonna be right here. And then right here is gonna be the sink line. That's also gonna be the vent. So it's gonna dry vent and then wet vent because it's a basement, you gotta you got wet vent it on IPC. So we'll cut it here. We'll continue to this pipe up and this will vent the toilet actually. The tub already has a vent because that's the way uh, tubs do work. So that's basically, this took a while, right? This took all morning. It took a little bit longer than I thought because we had to hand dig a lot of stuff. But this is basically, the last thing we got to do is, right here, 
we have the Y for my son's bathroom. We didn't get to that today because I got to measure out the stairs that are coming down here. And I kind of want to put this as close to the walls possible to go up. Uh, that's it for today. Well, I'll finish the plumbing. I'll do this all in one episode. So we will finish this hopefully on Monday. I think it's going to rain on Monday. Superior Walls is coming Monday. So we have a lot going on and uh, we'll catch you Monday. The things you got to do. I bought this dinky little 45 gallon water barrel to fill up the plumbing for the inspection. But my house doesn't have a hose picket. So I had to go to Silent Jay's. Just gonna let this um, fill up and you know, we'll go over other things that happened today. The inspector is coming by to check the waistline. It's filled with water. Let's shake this one. Let's see if this one has a shake. It's a shake test. Ready? It's holding water. It's been holding water for a good hour now. So, I mean, there's like no joke, like 120 gallons of water in all these lines. So once we let the water go tonight, it's going to be kind of crazy. So that's, that's about it. I'm just going to wait for the inspector. And uh, tomorrow, if he passes the plumbing inspection, we'll clean all this up. <coughs> we got a bunch of number ones and we're going to flatten this all out and uh, it'll, it'll prep us for Monday. Good news. We passed inspection for the plumbing. So now we're going, I'm going to release this water and see, there's no joke, 120 gallons of water in there. I don't know where it's going to end up, but I'm going to release it because I don't want it in there overnight. Look at this. I am a mess. I am so glad I'm close to closing up. This is not easy. I keep saying that, but it's true. Not easy. All right, let's release the water. Look at the bulge on there. Let's release the hounds. Oh God. Wow. Yep. That was a lot of water.